Hey guys, it's me, Carnage Collector here, to do a little unboxing and review of the Jazzwares uh, 20th Anniversary 1998 Sonic and Spinner figure. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, before I unbox this figure, let's just take a look at the box. Um, as you can see, there's a nice little picture of the modern Sonic. It has the label of the figure, 1998, Sonic and Spinner. It has the 20th anniversary logo. We have the Sonic the Hedgehog here. We see uh, the Spinner Badnik from Sonic Adventure and Sonic. And on the back, you see the 20th anniversary logo as well. A picture of Martin Sonic, the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, and a little bio. And I will read that. Capable of traveling at the speed of sound, Sonic is known for his speed, confident attitude, and readiness for any and all types of adventure. A true hero, he calls upon all his skills to, dis to save the world from Dr. Eggman. Sonic has a big heart and is always ready to help those in need. Oh yeah, that's about it. Just copyrights here. And also, I forgot to mention, uh, if you look carefully behind Sonic and Spinner, not sure you can see this, but there is a speed highway background on the box, which is very nice. Okay, since we got that out of the way, now let's unbox this guy. Trying not to ruin package. Uh, yeah, I'm using scissors because I don't have a knife right now. I really suck at this, sorry guys. Uh, this is really bad. Sorry for not talking that much. Um, I'm just trying to... And, yeah, I, knew, I know I did a terrible job at opening this guy, but... At least I still got the uh, speed highway background, which is really nice. But I did ruin the Sonic, the modern Sonic picture. And yeah, here is the, you know, label. Very nice. And here we are. So, basically, here, I'll just get it off first. Okay, so here's Sonic, and... He is basically the 3.75 inch Sonic figure with better joints, which is really good. Uh, hold on, I have my original 3 inch Sonic figure here. And let's compare for a minute. Um, yeah, this one has better joints than the original. Sorry. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get Spinner out. And Spinner looks really, really good. 
looks exactly how like how he did in uh, Sonic Adventure. And yeah, that's really good. I'm not sure if you can. Oh, you can. Just the glue is really tight. Anyways, yeah. Well, since I got them out of the package, let's review these guys. So first off, we'll start out with Sonic. And yeah, like I said, he is the 3.75 inch Sonic figure with approved joints. And first off, we'll start out with detail. And detail on Sonic is absolutely amazing. He has a really awesome head sculpt. Uh, his back spikes and tail look really nice. The gloves are highly detailed. Same with the arms and legs. They included the backing of Sonic shoes. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, they also included treads on the bottom of Sonic shoes, which is great. Also, forgot to mention, um, there's a hole for Sonic, but it does not come with uh, a base, which is really odd. And yeah, I just figured out mine has the backwards leg joint. They call it the gamma joint for some reason, but whatever. Uh, anyways, he has a very nice expression. Um, and he has nice eyes. Uh, same with the ears, and yeah, that's pretty much it for detail on Sonic. And detail on Sonic, I will give him a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely amazing. And now let's move on to the articulation. So the articulation on Sonic is that you can move his head 360 degrees. Same with his arms. You can bend the arms in, uh, inwards and outwards. You can move the legs sideways up and down. You can twist the hands 360 degrees same thing as this one you can twist the waist 360 degrees <sighs> sorry uh, you can twist the legs 360 degrees you can bend the kneecaps and you can twist let's see if this one will do it you can Twist the shoes 360 degrees. Same thing with that leg. And yeah, that's pretty much all the articulation on Sonic. And the articulation on Sonic, I will give him a 9.5. There is a good amount of articulation on Sonic, which is really nice. Now, let's move on to Spinner. Now, Detail on Spinner is absolutely fantastic. They got all the textures on him. Uh, has his nice little expression. I think that's kind of like teeth. Um, I'm not sure you can see that, but it kind of looks like teeth. His blades are really well sculpted. Same with his ears. As same with the uh, bottom of his body. He has nice blue eyes. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for detail on Spinner. So, detail on Spinner, I will give him a 10. He is fantastic, and he's, I believe he's the only Spinner figure. So, yeah, that's really cool, I find. Now, let's move on to articulation. Now, articulation on Spinner is basically, you can move the blades 360 degrees, and same thing with this one. So yeah, de articulation on Spinner, I will give him a 6. Yeah, there's not a lot of articulation on Spinner, but he's still nice. So yeah, that pretty much wraps uh, Spinner up. Now let's move on to the overall score. Overall, overall, these figures are absolutely amazing. I highly suggest you pick these guys up. You can get these guys at GameStop. I not sure. So yeah, with that said, I will give these guys a well-deserved 10 out of 10, and I will see you guys all in the near future. Okay, bye.